welcome to another edition of the Sewing Guru. Now that we've prepared all of our panels for our waistcoat, we're now ready to actually start sewing our waistcoat together. Now for this video, we are going to start off with the darts on the front panel. Because over the next set of videos, we're going to be working with the front panels, then we're going to be working with our back panels and then we're going to be putting the two together to complete our waistcoat. So like I say, the first step is to put the fitting darts in the front of our waistcoat. So that means that we're going to be using just the front panels for this video. So you need your front panels and you also need your pattern or your twelve front panel as well because we need to get the exact placement of where the dart is going to be. Now you might have already marked that on to your front panel already, but I'm going to show you the process of what to do, of how to mark that on, and then we're going to actually stitch our dart in place. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my main front panels here, and of course there's a left and a right. They've been fused, which we did in the previous video. And I have my twirling panel as well, which is the front panel. Uh, and you can see here the actual dart placement lines. So what we need to do is we need to transfer these darts onto here. Now, you need to be working with the inside. Okay. So what you need to do is just work with the inside of the panel. So in other words, where you can see the interfacing. And you may as well just put them both together like this and do this in one go. It's just a lot easier to do it like that. So put them together like that and make sure that they are completely aligned together. And then place your twelve or your pattern over the top. Now, I've altered my front panels considerably. I've lengthened them and I've also added fabric to the front here as well. So we need to place this twelve panel exactly on the arm side and the side seam here to get where the dart is going to be exactly and it won't distort the front panel at all. Now I've already got my notch point cut. Now the interfacing is actually stopping me from getting the notch point so we can just snip that again because of course where the interfacing was it's just fused over. So we just need to open those again and I've now got my dart points, start points in there with the notches. So we just need to put a pin in the top dart point there and then we've also got another couple of points here as well like that and one there as well. Make sure that you're going through both panels. You see? You have to make sure that you're going through both panels so then at least you know it's going to be marked. Okay, so now that we've put those in there, we can't take off our twelve panel yet because otherwise we'll just take the pins with us. So we need to just carefully turn this over, make sure nothing moves, and then put some pins the other way through, exactly where these pins are. Okay, like that, put another one there, like that, and another one here, like that. And now, we can take the twelve panel away. like that okay and we've got our markings exactly where the dart is of our panels there 
So now what we need to do is we need to now turn over and we need to put the markings through again so that we can get both of our panels marked up. Oh, it's the other way. It's the other way. Make sure that they're all flat and that the pins go through the exact pin points of where the pins come through. Like that. And now we can carefully lift our panels away and we've got both of our panels marked. Now just carefully just reposition, make sure the pin doesn't come out but you know where the pin head is, that's our marking points. Again we can turn this over like that. So now that we've got our panels completely marked, let's just discard this out of the way. We can now go ahead and prepare this ready to put our fitting darts in place. So again, we're working with the wrong side, so the interfacing of the panel should be facing you. And turn the panel over. You've got your notch points here that you would have put in to start with, okay? If you haven't put those in, simply, again, put your, put your pattern piece or your twill onto the fabric panel, okay? Just move it down to the bottom and you'll be able to see the actual notch points where they start, okay? So just put those in as well. Turn your panel over and just make sure that you start where the notch points are here. Okay, so the notches need to be together. So make sure that they're together and put a pin in there. Like that. Okay, now the pin head here that's the end point. That's where your fitting dart will end. So again, make sure that is nice and flat, okay? And here are our pins as well. Now if you just put a pin through, can you see? We're going exactly through from where the pin head was here through to the pin head there. We can take this pin out and where our pin head is, that's the point of where we saw two. So now that that's all straight, like that, make sure that this is all flat. The two notches are together, the importance is that, the two notches are together. Make sure this is all flat. Like that. So we've got the two notches together here, and we're sewing along here to this point here where the pin head is, and then we're going out to this pin head here, okay? So your stitching line will just eventually just come out and go off the fabric here. Okay, and before you reach this point here, make sure you back tack a few, a few times, just go along, back tack, and then go forward again, and then go off the edge, exactly as you would do a fitting dart. Okay, so we're stitching from this notch straight to this pin head here, which is this point, okay, and then out to this point here, and of course, you're doing that on both your panels. Okay, I've put my darts in place, and as you can see, if I put the both panels together, you can see that they are exactly
the same length okay and they're exactly the same shape and you've got your little sort of tail ends there which you stay on don't cut those off okay but that's our darts now in place and of course it's going to give this real nice fitting line and fitting shape to the waistcoat when it's pressed now before we go over to the ironing board to press this in place what we need to do is just cut two little pieces of interfacing which is going to cover this last part of the dart okay it needs to be just long enough so that it just covers this nicely okay so let's have a look I'm gonna see I'm going to do mine six centimeters in length this small piece Okay, let's just cut this around about six centimeters in length. That's there. Okay, now we need, of course, we need one for each side of the waistcoat here. And we need to have it so that it's going to fit in here very nicely. So let's just cut this like that. Okay, so just two small square pieces of interfacing. So mine are six centimetres by three and a half, okay? Now it doesn't have to be exactly that length, but just make sure that your pieces are going to cover the last part or the top part of your fitting dart, okay? So it's just going to be placed over the top of there when we press this in place. So now that we've got all of our things ready, we've put our darts in, We've got our little bits of, bits of fusing there. We're now ready to go over to the ironing board and press these darts in place. Okay, so here we are at the ironing board. And what you need for this is a tailor's ham. Because that will give us the shaping what we need when we press our dart in place. So I'm going to be using tailor's ham for mine. Now... The process is obviously exactly the same for the left as it is for the right. So I'm going to show you one panel and then of course you can just do that the same with the other panel. So open up your front panel like that, okay? And as you can see you've got your dart here. And what we need to do is we need to cut this open. All right, so start off by snipping the dart open like this, okay, right along. Okay, now I'm using some really, really sharp embroidery scissors for this. Because if you use larger scissors, you won't get in okay the thread is going to be too close now when you reach here which is the end or the top of your fitting dart this is where you need to just be careful that you don't go too far okay so just cut Out there that's fine okay so we've stopped a little bit away from the edge so now that we've cut that we can just press this open now this first part we can just press this flat on the ironing board just press this down flat okay now of course I'm going to be using my clapperboard as well for this And it just really, really presses this seam down flat, okay, or the dart. It's exactly what we want. We just want this to be really nicely pressed down. Okay, now, this is the part here. We need to just press that. Now, we need to put this now on our tailor's hat. So, let's just bring this over. 
See that? And what that'll do is it'll give it shape. It gives the, the dart shape and it's going to look really nice. So it's going to keep pressing this. Okay, we can use our clapperboard for this as well. Just keep pressing this down. Like that. Okay, now if we turn this over, you can see our dart is really, really nicely in place. Really, really press this press this down so it's nice and flat. Now that we've got that really nice and flat, what we can do now is our little oblong square of fusing. Okay, make sure that the thread is just facing upwards like that, it's not in the way or anything. And what we need to do is we need to just place this over the top of there. Okay, now any threads like this, just cut those away. We don't really want those in between. We need to just place this over the top. Now remember, the glue part needs to go down onto the cloth like that. Okay, so just carefully carefully just press this down. Like that. And what that does is it holds the dart in place. Okay, this will just be all held now and it won't be distorted at all. Okay? So it's a really nice way. Just a nice way of making sure that everything is pressed neatly in place. Okay? So the rest We can just press flat on the ironing board. This needs to be pressed flat. Like that. Okay. And as you can see, we now have our fitting dart in place. It's really, really nice and flat, and it's all in place exactly where it should be. Now you need to do the same on the other panel as well, and then you're ready to go on to the next video, which I'm going to show you the next step, which is going to be, we're going to be putting the pocket into the front panel. So I will see you very soon.